Hello, my amazing sexy mofos. This is your boy Venomy here. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far. In today's video, I am back with another Fallout 76 video. I've got an updated, better method for an XP farm for every single one of you. For all of you looking to complete the scoreboard a little bit quicker, or just to rank up if you're new to the game, or just in general if you want to farm loads and loads of script. But the main purpose of this video is how to beat the scoreboard every time, every season, any season, as easily and as quick as possible. Doing it this way, you are going to definitely achieve that. But before we start, if you are new around here and like what you see, then please do subscribe to join this amazing sexy family. But now let's jump straight into this. Okay, so for all the new players out there, I'm just going to show you where West Tech actually is. If you already know them, brilliant, but if you don't, here is the location in comparison to White Spring and Foundation, just so you can all get a rough idea of where it is. Now, there is no wrong or right way to do this XP farming method to help you beat the scoreboard and everything like that. There is no wrong or right way. A lot of people will just run around... Um, with a fixer or something, or railway rifle, and just kill all the super mutants. Recently, there's been a lot of show and tell about the nuka grenade method, just running around, obviously throwing loads of nuka grenades. But recently, me and my buddies have obviously found a bit of a faster and a bit of a cost-effective way. You're going to be saving loads more nuka grenades, you're going to be saving yourself loads more time, what you want to do is get at least a buddy, doesn't have to be four of you in there, you can, me and a friend were just duoing it. You want half of your squad to go the left side of West Tech, and you want the rest of you to go the right side of West Tech. You want to make sure you've got the Grenada perk on and Demolition Expert. Now when you throw a Nuka Grenade, it's going to take about two Nuka Grenades to kill every single Super Mutant in the room. But because of the Grenada perk, all the Super Mutants on your friend's side of West Tech that he's going to kill, you're actually going to injure because of the Grenada perk and everything like that. They're going to get a little bit of splash damage. You're not going to kill the ones on his side, but you are going to injure them. Which means when your friend actually does inevitably throw the Nuka Grenade and kills them on that side, you're both going to get the same amount of XP. You're both going to get a humongous amount of XP, ranging from 10,000 XP, which is 100 score on the scoreboard for the repeatable challenge, to we had 16,000 last night and we're aiming for even higher. I've seen videos of people getting 18,000, 20,000, 22,000. The goal of that is you want to make your intelligence as high as physically possible. So don't forget, brain bombs, cranberry relish, uh, four lunch boxes to get as mo much XP as physically possible. Don't forget to be a herbivore as well. There's loads of little things that you can do to increase your intelligence. You've also got your armor, the mechanical derby game as well. Remember to sleep in a bed. If you're a male character, have a female ally to get the kindred spirit. That's also more XP, so every single super mutant you kill, you're actually going to be getting more off. Um, without double XP, we were getting 1,900, nearly 2,000 XP per super mutant. So every five super mutants is 10,000 XP, which is 100 score on the scoreboard. I think we went from level 11 to level 29 on the scoreboard yesterday. Um, that that there alone is just a verbal proof of how effective this actually is. Now for anyone that's got anxiety about not completing the scoreboard, I promise you this is the fastest and best and less cost effective way. Like, Obviously, you could be a solo. Join a random team or three other randoms, a casual team, and you could solo with the nuke grenades. But the point of that is you're going to be going through more nuke grenades because you're only by yourself. You're barely no mates. You're just by yourself, so you're going to have to clear the left side. 
and the right side of West Tech, resulting in more grenades. So on my friend's side, he would usually throw two to four, and on my side, I'd be throwing two to four. So on average, you're going to be burning through eight grenades roughly just by yourself per run before you go down the elevator to make them all respawn again. But when you're by yourself just with a friend, there was four of us, we would both chuck about one or two nuclear grenades, totaling to about four nuclear grenades, and we'd kill the rest just running around playing cleanup squad. It was very, very fast, very, very effective. The we still we crafted over 600 nuclear grenades, and we've still got a tremendous, tremendous amount. So obviously, just letting you all know the best way to not just rank up, to not just farm script, but to also beat the scoreboard. But I'm gonna wrap this video up here and let you all watch the rest of the footage. I really do hope you're all okay and having an amazing day so far, but I love every single one of you. Make sure to check out my channel membership, I've finally set it all up. Um, but most importantly, I hope you all enjoy your weekend and have an amazing day. And I'll see you all in the next video.